Good morning, everyone. It's currently five to nine in the morning. I'm a bit nervous for the exam. It's also because when I checked the location again yesterday, they changed its venue. So it's not where I thought it would be in Amsterdam. So I have to take a different train. The difference, me with an eyebrow and without. <laughs> Let's make a wing. can't make wings. Okay, I'm going to take you along with me on this day. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Let's do this. Ciao! So what I'm bringing along to the test center is my notebook, which I've used over the past few months, my admission ticket and two pencils. They were very strict about having two pencils with you. They actually needed to be two B pencils, but these were fine as well. Even though I don't live far from Amsterdam, I still need to take a bus and train to get there. I arrived a bit too early, around half an hour, and waited until the school opened. Luckily I was not the only one, as you can see, as a lot of people were taking the HSK test today. After getting my passport and admission ticket checked, it was time to go to my classroom. I'm sitting in this auditorium for the HSK1 test and the room was filling rather quickly with around 40 people taking the same test. Then I needed to go find my seat. As you can see they put your photo on the table and I was already provided with the exam and exam answer sheet. Both were still sealed. A few moments later. After about an hour the test was officially over. And I was super relieved. You can't see it by my expression right now, but I am really happy. Since we were in Amsterdam, we might as well just hang around for a little bit. So we walked around and it was so good to see everybody back again in the city. Hi everyone, I'm currently back at home. And yeah, well, the test went absolutely amazing. I, I don't know, it just went really well. I felt a bit embarrassed showing up to the test center. It was just a regular high school um, because it is Saturday, there's no one there, so only for the test takers. There were like 40 other people who were taking the first test, so that's a good thing um, because I thought I was the only one that everyone just skipped HSK1 and went straight on to 2 or 3 <laughs> so that was nice but the test went super super well I understood everything whenever I saw the words on the exam itself I just wrote down the translation right away um, so whenever I heard that I was like yes that's the answer it just went super fast I got like 15 minutes for the listening part and then 17 minutes for the reading part but I did not need all those minutes for the reading part, so I feel relieved. It went really, really well. So 40 questions if you want to do the same thing, um, 20 questions each for listening and for reading. There's no writing, there's no speaking. Um, definitely recommend this test. It went <laughs> amazingly well. So now I have to wait for about a month to see my online score. In about two months I can collect my exam and certificate. Um, so yeah, I will be filming a video of my score as well, so <laughs> we'll just have to wait for a few more weeks, but I will definitely let you know. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this journey so far and good luck with your exams. Bye bye!